Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, after a couple of days of not so great sunshine for charging, today is going to be a beautiful day. The sun is already getting high enough in the sky, hitting all panels on all systems. Should get everything up to full gonna be a great day beautiful well today we've got the newest addition to uh, the appliances that are running completely 100% off solar and this is the Vasani five cubic foot chest freezer founded at Home Depot a week or so ago under two hundred dollars which is a great great deal and for an extra added food security decided to add an extra five cubic feet of food storage for any potential storms uh, whatever may come our way want to have a little extra food security out here so don't have to be worrying about that they always recommend out here to have at least a a few weeks worth of food on hand in case we get smacked by a hurricane uh, and then you don't have to be out there uh, running to the store at the last minute or whatever and you can just be uh, tucked in at home and and hopefully eating what you like uh, this will cost more to fill up than the unit itself cost itself interesting little fact Right here, this piece of ground, they say the Hawaiian island here, the big island, between 400,000 and 800,000 years old. And if I split that difference and just call it maybe 600,000 years that this ground has been here, I can say that for the first time since then, at least, creating a five cubic foot uh, space of air at zero degrees Fahrenheit or below. I thought that was interesting and that's how I like to think of it. This is kind of a first ever out here on this piece of ground. And it's in, in addition to over here, which I've done some videos on with this uh, LG refrigerator freezer. It's just sitting right next to that. And it's gonna add a lot to some food security. So in the past when a hurricane has hit, uh, and there's been, of course, a mad rush on supplies and food at the stores. And by the time I can make my way out of here, a lot of time those shelves are empty. So in just preparation for any eventuality, want to have a little extra backup. Got enough solar power to keep this thing running. It's pretty efficient. It says the estimated yearly energy cost on this is $26 a year. <clears throat> I don't know uh, what grid system uh, they're comparing that to, what state uh, they might be comparing that to as far as the electricity cost. Out here, it's not going to cost that because we're doing completely solar. Also says this unit uses about 216 kilowatt hours of electricity in a year. So pretty efficient. Um, and I'll show you what it's running on. So I've got it tied into this little standalone wall system right now, running off of a, a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, got it plugged in 24 seven, got all the usual uh, suspects of components here. Got the Victron 130 amp controller, got 200 amp hours, power queen, lithium iron phosphate, all these things I've reviewed before, they're all working well. As I've been chasing energy around and trying different appliances, that's what we're doing right now, is running that chest freezer 24-7. It was just on a minute ago, it has turned off, it is drawing no power right now. As you can see on that watt meter, zero. Uh, it's, it's pretty warm today, the ambient temperature inside the... Uh, home right now is about 82 degrees so it runs a little bit more 
with this and plus the freezer itself is not completely full by any means so it's running a little bit more than it needs to and then at night when it cools off into the 70s and high 60s it, it does not run very often to keep it at that zero degrees or even a little bit under and when it is running right now i just looked at it a little while ago uh, before it shut off it started at about 75 watts uh, to, to run that freezer and then it slowly tapers it down to about 50 watts during its uh, cycle and then it just shuts off so pretty efficient and I'll give you a, a peek inside see if I can catch the temperature real quick well it's well below zero, not really a good indicator on this particular uh, thermometer, but it was well below zero. Of course, it's going up real quick now as I hold this, but I'm guessing it was at about five below zero, which is fine. The food that is in here right now, and you can see I've got a ton of space. Uh, got a bunch of meat in there. I probably have about 30 pounds of things in there right now just absolutely rock hard building up just the teeniest bit of frost this is a self defrost unit which means you unplug it uh, you'd want to do it when everything was out of here of course and let it defrost whatever has built up and then it has a, a drain plug out here on the outside so that's what they mean by manual. Just unplug it, wait for everything to, to melt, drain it out of there into a pan of some kind, and you can wipe everything down. I notice that just along the edge here, it builds up just a little bit of water. It's never come off onto the sides at all. Seems to keep, be keeping it pretty well sealed up. I don't mind seeing just a little bit of that building up from the heat of the day. You can wipe that off. Not a big deal. But yeah, some extra food storage. Longer longer term food security. Like that pretty well. Been running this several days. Like I said, in, during the heat of the day, like right now, it's it's 81 in here right now. So it's running a little bit more often during the heat of the day. And as you could see, I have a lot of space to fill up in there. Uh, over time, we'll get this thing filled up and then it'll even be more efficient once the whole thing is completely full and there won't be as much airspace in there to be working with. But it still does not run that long. I haven't been able to keep that close of an eye on it to tell you exactly how long it's been running but it hasn't been touching that battery at all in any serious way I've got 300 watts of solar tied up to that battery and it's keeping up just fine so yeah really gonna like that and I've got 300 watts of solar those first three 100 watt panels are what is tied into that system now designated uh, strictly for the freezer those two 100 watt panels are tied into the system right next to it and i'm going to have to move this i've been using this for the past several months for a lot of test videos that i've been doing and a lot of testing on my own that i haven't even uh, got around to showing you guys yet but right now so I'm going to have to move this array and I'm going to have to move it back in here somewhere because the sun has changed enough of its angle now that it's been going down for a couple of months that in the morning I'm losing out a lot of uh, sunshine that I could be grabbing if it was just over there. And the reason is, is because of these tall trees right here. It takes it a little longer now to clear those trees in the morning and hit those panels where 
back where I showed where I want to put it. I'll get a few more hours of sun than I'm than I'm going to be getting here. So that's one of the things I wanted to point out is I always uh, set my permanent array for the best sunshine I get when the sun is at its lowest point in the year. So December 21st out in there when the sun is at its lowest point getting over those trees that's my optimum place to be putting it back in there and that's about where I'm pointing to is about 30 feet away from where it is right now and that'll get it out further clear those trees earlier in the day and that and that's just how I do my arrays I always uh, have these tall trees to deal with the Sun does get up high and fast here being as close to the equator that we are but there is still uh, some to be gained by setting the panels where the Sun hits at the lowest point of the year and then after that it's all good so I hope you guys enjoyed this video show you yet another electrical appliance going to be run 100% on solar extra food storage we live in a very rural area out here we only make supply runs so often and in the event of an emergency which it's coming eventually don't want to have to run out there and deal with the mass crowds shortage of supplies which does happen just have a little more security while things work them their way out one time did get uh, a lot of knocked down trees out here during a hurricane took a few days to get cleared out enough with chainsaws to make our way out to a store so just planning for things like that not overly paranoid just to have a little extra comfort in knowing that for most things pretty well covered and the Sun is providing everything we need as far as power and I just find that a little bit ironic that the sunshine is what's creating five cubic feet of below zero temperatures <laughs> I just love that all right you guys Catch you on the next one. Aloha.